this is Joan Fernley, your French diction coach for choirs. And today I will be reading Cadet Roussel, more specifically the version arranged by Vincent Dendy. This will be a three-part video series because I will also be doing En Passant par la Lorraine and Compère Guillery. And in fact, Vincent Dendy arranged 12 of these songs, but these three, I think, form a great set for a concert program. They're all upbeat, and I think sometimes we just need a few songs to inject a bit of energy in our programs. So do check them out. They are available on imslp.org and cpdl.org. So that's all in the public domain. Now, if you like what I do, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, this helps the YouTube algorithm and get this information out to people who would benefit. Now, this video will start with a little bit of history. I won't make a separate video on the history because it's quite short. And then it'll be followed by the reading, followed by the tips and tricks for conductors and singers. And then finally, if you want to stick around and work with me line by line, stick around for the coaching session. So now, without any further delay, let's get started. Cadet Roussel is a staple of the French folk song repertoire. But is it really a folk song? Well, in the large sense, perhaps, but in a, perhaps a more, more purest view of folk songs, it perhaps isn't, because it's not a song that emerged uh, over many, many years and have, you know, has many, many versions and so on. In fact, we know who penned the song and we know who the person Cadet Roussel actually is. He's a historical figure. So let's talk a little bit about who Cadet Roussel actually was. So he was born in 1743, died in 1807. He comes from the town of Auxerre, which is just a bit south of Paris. And um, he started with, had very humble beginnings. His name is Guillaume Joseph Roussel. He started as a servant. He was a lackey, otherwise known as a manservant. But he went up in the world. He became a huissier de justice, which is an officer of the court. So somebody with lots of legal tasks and somebody who might actually build up a name for himself in town, which is why we might actually remember him. Uh, he was seen as being jovial, a bon vivant, but also quite eccentric. But not only that, he was a sans-culotte, so he was a revolutionary from the people. And he did get a bit in trouble, it did interfere with his legal duties, he did a bit of jail time. Uh, and then after that, he kept a lower profile and um, right up until his death. But basically, he was a known figure in town. And there was another man in town called Gaspard de Chenu, who was known for his satirical songs. And he penned the words to Cadet Roussel, much like one would pen a vaudeville. So you borrow a melody, a song that already exists, that everybody knows, and you pen a whole new set of lyrics. But not only that, the song Cadet Roussel follows a pattern saying that Cadet Roussel has three of whatever, so three sons, three dogs, three houses, you name it. And the song that Gaspard de Chenu borrowed from, called Jean de Nivelle, also follows that pattern. And that song also mocks Jean de Nivelle. Gaspard de Chenu was really inserting some text in a whole style, a whole uh, pattern that was already existing. And I think if Gaspard de Chenu had not written Cadet Roussel, it, Jean de Nivelle would have probably been forgotten in the folk songs uh, collections. But Cadet Roussel really stuck. And one of the reasons it really stuck is because it became very popular in the Northern Revolution Army in France. And in 1792, when that song was composed, the person heading that army was none other than the General Lafayette. So, and it is believed that Lafayette might have written a few verses of his own. And in fact, it is believed that some of the verses of Cadet Roussel are not Gaspard de Chenu's verses. They may be verses that have been added later on. So this song would have been perfect for the military, great for marching, and just really positive. And as much as we're poking fun at Cadet Roussel, Cadet Roussel was actually a friend of the revolution. So the revolution, the Northern Revolution, Revolutionary Army would have uh, enjoyed singing this song. Cadet Roussel la trois maisons qui n'ont ni poutre ni chevron. 
c'est pour loger les hirondelles. Que direz-vous de Kader Roussel? Ah, 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 mais vraiment! Kader Roussel est bon enfant. Kader Roussel a trois habits, deux jaunes, l'autre en papier gris. Il met celui-là quand il gèle. Que direz-vous de Kader Roussel? Kader Roussel a trois garçons. L'un est voleur, l'autre est fripon. Le troisième est un peu ficelle. Il ressemble à Kader Roussel. Kader Roussel a marié ses trois filles dans trois quartiers. Les deux premières ne sont pas belles. La troisième n'a pas de cervelle. Cadet Roussel a trois cheveux, deux pour les faces, un pour la queue. Et quand il va voir sa maîtresse, il les met tous les trois en tresse. Cadet Roussel ne mourra pas, car avant de sauter le pas, on dit qu'il apprend l'orthographe pour faire lui-même son épitaphe. Your first tip is how to pronounce the letter A. Is it an open A as in tap? Or is it a closed A as in top? So taking a word that comes up a lot in this song, how would you pronounce it? Would you say kade or would you say kade? Now, if you've been paying attention, you know the answer. It is in fact kade. And this is very important to keep in mind because the tongue has to go forward and that is what is going to give you your very French sound. I often hear A's pronounced by English choirs far too dark and you would get something like cade. And that's simply more a, a choral issue where we ask our singers to sing open vertically when they sing, but that pulls everything down, including the tongue. But the tongue has to be engaged and move forward. So you get, instead of Kade, you get kade, and the tongue moves forward. So up on the screen, you have all six verses of Kade Roussel along with the refrain. And I've highlighted all the letter A's, and all of them are pronounced with the open sound A, Kade Roussel. And it's never pronounced with an A sound. None of these A's are pronounced with A. They are pronounced as A. And this is actually a good rule of thumb when you're singing in French. Most of the time, the sound will be A. Now you have the word trois. And in this case, the sound is a closed A sound that follows the W. So the word trois is pronounced slightly darker than how you would pronounce cade. Now it's not to say that people don't go around sing, saying trois. You will have that regional accent in some places, and there is the regional accent where you will hear trois, but in singing, it is trois. If you take this phrase here, how would you sing this? Well, you would say cade roussel a trois maisons. Your second tip is the liaison. And there's a couple that are a little bit unusual. So let's take the phrase Cadet Roussel est bon enfant. So normally the word bon is pronounced as a nasal, very closed O, on. Now you'll see IPA symbols either with an open O or a closed O. It's a bit six of one, half a dozen of the other. It is bon. But when you do the liaison, the on sound turns into on, bon enfant. So the O turns into an open O. Uh, so when you pronounce this phrase, you would say Cadet Roussel est bon enfant. The other one that may give you a bit of pause is the next one on the word quand. And we do the liaison between quand and il. Now what do you do with the D? Well, that turns into a T. So it becomes quand il gèle. Il met celui-là quand il gèle. Okay, this is the coaching session where I will go through the song line by line. And of course, I will skip the repeated refrain. I will just do it once. And there's a lot of repeated words. Of course, Cade Roussel comes up a lot. We won't do it. won't go into depth every time. And just to save on some time. Now, of course, in this time period, you would be rolling the R on the tip of the tongue. Now, 
when I do a video and I'm speaking through the lyrics, I don't roll my R's because it's very awkward for me to do it in speech, but I have no trouble doing it in singing. So I'll read these two lines with the roll on the tip of the tongue, and but then after that I will stop and revert back to my speech. Cadet roussel à trois maisons qui n'ont ni poutre ni chevron. So let's take this apart. You have cadet, so we spoke about cadet in the tips and tricks. The a cadet is very open, it's an anterior a. All your a's are going to be like that. And your a sound is going to be equally open. So they're very close, cadet. And every time you have an a, it is the same a. It's a very open a. So at the end of that line, you have maison. Maison has the same a as cadet. And Roussel also has that E. They're all the same. Cadet, Roux, and that O is nice, round, like an owl. Roussel a trois maisons. And at the end, you have a nice, round, nasalized O, which turns into ON. Qui n'ont ni poutre ni chevron. So you've got those nasalized sounds again, NON and Chevron, and you have an E sound with the tongue going very forward. Qui non ni poutre, just like Roussel, ni chevron. C'est pour loger les hirondelles. So again, you have an E sound, it's all the same. Hirondelle and C. Now in spoken French, colloquial French, the E has migrated quite a bit to an E sound, and so you'll hear a lot of people say C. C pour loger les hirondelles, les hirondelles. But in singing, you should stay with an E sound. C pour loger les hirondelles. Loger is an open O. It's not loger, but it's loger. And then at the end, que direz-vous de cadet roussel? So we have that contraction. It goes by quickly enough. It'll come quite naturally. And you have que direz-vous? So nice round ou. Que direz-vous de cadet roussel? Now the refrain, that's like laughing because we are poking fun at cadet roussel. We are laughing with him. Ah, ah, ah. Mais vraiment, mais vraiment. It's like, oh, I can't believe it. Mais and vrai are identical. Eh? And then you have the nasalized vowel vraiment, uh, which starts with an a uh, and then becomes an en, uh, just like enfant at the end of the next line. Enfant. They are identical. Cadet rousselet, bon enfant. So we spoke about bon in the tips and tricks. Cadet roussel a trois habits. So we do that liaison between trois and habits. The H is silent. So it's trois habits. De jaune, l'autre en papier gris. Now the jaune is a closed O. And the, as opposed to loger, that was an open O. So de jaune, l'autre, also a closed O, en papier gris. Gris. And the sound E, you have to really round around the sound E. So it's almost close to an E, E. <laughs> Very close. Il met celui-là quand il gèle. So we spoke about the D at the end of the word quand, and it becomes a T. Quand il gèle. And that's the E sound at the end, gèle. Il met, also an E. Il met celui là quand il gèle. Now that celui, you need to get your U sound. And U is not in the English language, so you have to work on it. Start with an E and round around it. I, U. Que direz-vous de Cadet Roussel? So we've seen that already. Cadet Roussel a trois garçons. So these are all sounds we've seen already. We spoke about trois in uh, the tips and trick, and here you have garçon, and there's a little cedilla under the C, which means it's a soft C pronounced like an S. Garçon. L'un est voleur, l'autre est fripon. So you'll notice there is no liaison between un and 
est. Le est voleur, so that's like logis. Voleur is an open O. Voleur, E, as in de. <laughs> as in teenagers going de. Voleur, l'autre est fripon. Le troisième est un peu ficelle. Bit of a tongue twister, but it goes really well in the song. Troisième est sound. Troisième est, again an est. Ta, you do the liaison, and that's a nasalized vowel. A, peu, e as in deux. Ficelle. Il ressemble à Caderousselle. Caderousselle a marié. So in this case, it becomes three syllables. It could have been marié, but because of the way the notes are written, it's marié. And make sure you don't say a. You've got rhymes here that end in a. Make sure it's there's no diphthongs at the end. It's not marié. It's marié. Marié. C'est trois filles dans trois cartes. Quartier. Quartier. Again, no diphthongs there. Quartier. Les deux premières ne sont pas belles. So here the E is dropped on première. Les deux, nice round, E, premières ne sont pas belles. La troisième, again, we've cut the E. La troisième n'a pas de cervelle. Caderousselle a trois cheveux. So again, you have that E sound and you'll get it again in the next line. So think of E and then round around E, E. Nice E sound. Caderousselle a trois cheveux. They're actually very close. De, again the E sound, pour les faces, un pour la queue. Again, you have the E. So you've got three of those. Et quand il va voir sa maîtresse. So you get, again, you have quand il. Quand il va voir, à, very open, voir sa maîtresse. Il les met. So, et, et, il les met. And then here you don't pronounce the S. Sometimes we say tous, but other times we don't. And it's a bit of a, it can be a bit of a guess. Tout, so you don't pronounce the S. Il les met tous les trois en tresse. And again, you have the E sound. Caderousselle ne mourra pas. So here we've dropped the E because it has to work with the notes. Ne mourra pas. Car avant de sauter le pas. So sauter, it's not sauter. That would be an open O. It is a closed O. Sauter le pas. On dit qu'il apprend l'orthographe pour faire, we drop the E, pour faire lui-même, again drop the E, son épitaphe. Well, there you have it, Cadet Roussel. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next two songs. En passant par la Lorraine and compère Guillery. And I hope one day you'll be able to program all three in a set and for your concerts and do let me know how it goes. And until next time, bye! <laughs>